My name is Carlos Castellanos and I am a Penn in the Classroom instructor and I'm here at the Penn Center USA office in Los Angeles, California. I'm reading from the sworn statement made by an interpreter at the Kandahar Detention Facility in Afghanistan. This document is dated February 13, 2002. I'm writing this in response to events that I witnessed while performing my duties as an interrogator with the Task Force 202 JIF. Specialist Blank and I were conducting an interrogation of military prisoner number XXX on January 3, 2002. Blank and I took a break to regroup and check our notes. While we were out of the booth, several special forces members entered. At the time, I did not think anything of it and thought they were just observing him. This was a different special forces people than I had seen before. Blank and I finished the break and went back. When we entered the booth, we found the special forces members all crouched around this prisoner. They were blowing cigarette smoke in his face. The prisoner was extremely upset. It took a long time to calm him down and find out what had happened. The prisoner was visibly shaking and crying. Blank immediately told them to get out and not to come back anywhere near anyone that we were talking to. I could tell something was wrong. The prisoner was extremely upset. He said they had hit him, told him that he was going to die, blew smoke in his face, and had shocked him some kind of device. He used the term electricity. I immediately notified our non-commissioned officer in charge. I was very upset that such a thing could happen. I take my job and my responsibilities as an interrogator and as a human being very seriously. I understand the importance of the Geneva Convention and what it represents. If I don't honor it, what right do I have to expect any other military to do so? I think it is important to reckon with torture because torture is a choice that we make to cause harm on another human being. I just don't think that's right. Um, I don't think it's right to inflict any kind of harm on anyone. I think acts of torture are probably some of the most selfish and evil things that a human can do, and it's just not right.